we like to use that yield data. It's something as simple as when you're in the field, you almost instantly know, um, you, you make the outside rounds, you have an idea of what the yield of that field's gonna do. And logistically, you can stage trucks and how many trucks need to be there. Um, you can do a better job of marketing, which are all small hidden things that come out of it, but it truly makes you much more efficient in the field by just having that simple piece of information. The ability to overlay maps, um, it's really nice because now, uh, once again, you're making, a, making agronomic decisions as you're harvesting. You, may, uh, you will quickly realize this hybrid is performing well, this hybrid is not performing as well. Whereas before, the only way you could capture that is by having a way wagon and, and harvesting a strip. And, and we've learned over and over again that one strip in field really doesn't tell us very much. But if, if we've planted a field and we split, split the field and we've put three or four hybrids in it, we're gonna have a good handle on which hybrid is performing better. And, and that's just so important. And it's the fact that we can overlay the yield maps on top and then have the, or excuse me, the variety maps and then overlay the yield on top. That really makes a big difference in, in some of the management decisions we can make. Well, I mean, we're, we're trying to figure out what, what fits each field best. And you know, and, and this, placing the right hybrid in the right field is getting to be a huge thing. And being able to have that information instantaneously, like when we pull out of this cornfield today, we will know what each hybrid did on this type of soil. And I can start, and if, if seed's gonna be in short supply, which it has which it has been in some years past, there's been some varieties we really wanted. And if we didn't order it early, we weren't able to get all the supply we wanted. So if I have that information when I leave this field today that I know this hybrid worked well, and maybe I wanna increase my, uh, the, the percent of my order to, on, on that hybrid for next year, I can make those decisions right away. Uh, the drainage issues uh, that we've had in the years, I mean, especially when we go to talk with landowners, and when we can overlay maps from several years past, and we can talk about how this was, you know, we can point out these wet years and show where the yield reduction was in those wet years, in those, in those wet spots, uh, it makes a really good, a really good case to uh, get landowners to help invest in tile and uh, some drainage projects we've got uh, and we've also had some some other soil projects like dry dams and things we're able to show where we where you know erosion has taken a toll in some in some waterway areas or some washout areas and we've been able to uh, put in tiles and risers and, and dry dams there because we're able to say that you know this is an area we could improve your farm here also and we could we, hopefully if we improve the farm and hold the soil where it's at we'll be able to improve the yield and the profitability of the farm too we use yield data a lot in our operation with our clients. Um, most of the fertilizer that is applied is applied VR, and we like to use the yield maps as the crop removal component. Rather than guesstimating what the crop removal is, we'll take the actual yield maps and calculate out, the, our recommendations will calculate out the replacement based on the actual yield coming off. It's just an efficiency factor that, that makes us more efficient. We've got the technology, we're using it anyhow. Why not use it on as many things as we can? And from a VR standpoint, it doesn't cost anything more to uh, use the yield data as a part of that component as not. So let's, let's use it. I've been using harvest maps from Ag Leader yield sources, or Ag Leader technology sources since 1998. I started out with the with a 1460 growing into a 2388 to now a deer 9860. So I've used it across several platforms. Um, in my operation, yield maps are one of the most crucial elements that you can use. Not only do you use it for my prescription planning, making variable rate fertilizer recommendations, uh, it works on a whole parameter of things to setting your boundaries in the field, uh, we use Ag Leader Harvest Maps for every detail of our operation. If you're comparing seed corn, that there's a difference of $100 a bag, 60, 60 to $100 a bag, and you know, that yield monitor is telling you that the cheaper stuff is out yielding it virtually every year, every field, then we, uh, it's definitely making us more money. I guess the yield monitor now is almost like a planter monitor, you know, I mean, we, we, you can plant corn without a planter monitor, you just don't know what it's doing. It's just the same way with the yield monitor. You can, you can shell 
corn and harvest beans and uh, you just don't know where you're, what's going on.